So we are done with part B. And moving on, we could do part C. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave part C up to you to figure out. Given how we did parts A and B, part C is pretty much exactly the same thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to part, uh, part D. So part D says a five-minute shower requires about 18 gallons of water. How much water per minute does a shower take? Okay, so a five minute shy requires about 18 gallons. So five minutes, 18 gallons, and then we'll do it the other way. 18 gallons, five minutes. Now it may seem like I'm wasting a lot of time doing it both ways when the question is really only asking me for one way, number one. However, I see that there's two questions, and the way that this pattern has been going, if I just flip it around, I'll probably get the answer to the other part. So I'm actually just kind of trying to save time by doing it all at the same, at one point. Okay, 18 divided by 5 equals 3.6. And point 27, that represents point 0.27 minutes per gallon and this equals 3.6 gallons per minute. Alright, so let's see if either one of those answers the questions. How much water per minute does a shower take? So how much water per minute? So that goes to this one. So it's 3.6 gallons. How long does the shower last if you use only one gallon of water? Oh, there's my per gallon. So that's 0.27 minutes. And 0.27 minutes is basically 27 seconds. All right, so that takes care of D. And E, I'm going to leave to you to do E number one. And E number two, we are not going to bother with right now. So good luck with the rest of that, and we'll check those in class. So in class, we will basically check E1, and we will check C to see how well you actually understood what we did in this lesson today.